Hello, today I'm showing you how to sculpt cacti. That's the plural for cactus, at least in French. <laughs> I'm not sure if you do the plural thing for Latin words in English, actually. Anyway, um, I started with a pale blue. Basically, I'm using pale colors, pastel colors for the base and the same shade of color but darker for the spikes. And the technique here is to roll out tiny balls and put them on the cactus and then shape them into spikes. So this is what I'm doing here. I put this cactus in my latest sculptural painting this time it's actually already on the YouTube channel, so if you want to see um, the final piece, you just need to check out my latest video, the artworks of February. It is part of an artwork that I called Controlled Anger, which is um, strong, I guess. I kind of like, I kind of really like um, that last artwork. So um, I'm actually really happy today. <laughs> That's a new thing, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really happy with the two artworks I made in February. And um, I just recorded the video for that one. That's why I'm still kind of talking, kind of hype about it. Um, yeah, well. I'm also eager to start working on different projects in March. I will probably make more bugs again and I really want to do more sculptural paintings as usual. Also thank you for all the very positive response response I got so far on my latest artworks on the Indonesian deforestation and the controlled anger artwork. It's really nice to see that you think it's good and that you like it. I mean, I, I suppose some people won't like it, that, that's fine. But I appreciate that you took the time to tell me that you enjoyed the result, the visual result, but also what is behind each artwork. Um, this is something I've been struggling with for the last uh, years of sculpting as you as you might know I've been mostly sculpting miniature food and only recently really started to put meaning in my work so this is something that is actually really important to me and sometimes I don't put tons of meanings in one artwork because sometimes you just want to get something visual out there and I think that's fine too. I try not to be too harsh with myself on that topic. If I do something that is not meaningless, because art is never meaningless, but something that is not as thought through than other artworks, I think that's fine too. It helps to make any kind of artwork to get some kind of progress. And even though I'm so slow on artwork, it's just everything is taking a lot of time because I'm sculpting. As you can see on my videos, each video is just a tiny, tiny little part of a big artwork. So it's, it's a lot of work for just one artwork and it's also why they're pretty expensive. But it's really how I enjoy working and it helps me it helps me not to overthink everything in my life to work on these. It's hard to explain, but I think I I focus on sculpting and it makes me really happy and so I don't really think too much about um, the meaning of my work and if it's good enough, etc. And I don't paralyze myself with that. So I think that is that is actually really important as an artist to just get the ideas out there and to not judge them. It sounds it sounds crazy, right? I just do it, and and even if you think it's bad, just do it because often we need to make bad ideas happen to get good ideas. If that makes any sense to you. So yeah, so this year it's really about just getting 
everything out of my head and into the world and so far I mean I wouldn't say I'm proud of myself but I'm I'm happy with the, um, the path I've chosen and yeah I just I just need to find the right customers and the right galleries but that's I'm not desperate yet so I think this this will happen soon enough I feel so much better this year than than last year so far I know we're just two months in so <laughs> still many months left to mess it up but I must admit on a very personal level I feel so much better just doing what I really want with my time and not being a slave of money even though at some point I will be a slave of money again but so far I'm just using the money I have aside and and also getting a lot of help from you through YouTube which is um, well it, it is s substantial income it's not enough to cover all my expenses but I mean it's it covers part of it and also thanks to to my lovely patrons over on Patreon who also uh, are kind enough to just support me in <laughs> Well, in my art, I don't have words to to express my gratitude. It just it's just amazing. Um, just a quick back to the sculpting, <laughs> in case you still are interested in that. I know I pr I prefer rambling over uh, explaining. I know that's bad. So um, as you as as you maybe if you watched it, I've seen. I added the tiny spikes everywhere and I brushed it with dry pastel to give it some shade and I've baked it and now I'm adding tiny dots of white paint so the spikes look spikier. <laughs> no better word to describe that. So I made a, a, a bunch of course, I never do just one. So this is pretty much it. You can still varnish it to prevent the pastel to brush off. It all depends if you're going to touch it or not. You can actually varnish it with a mate varnish, a mate acrylic varnish that works too. So if you don't want it shiny, I certainly don't want mine shiny. So this is what I'm going to do. I very much hope you enjoyed this video and my rambling. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, don't forget to share to support this channel and maybe become one of my patrons over on Patreon and I will see you in my next video. Bye!